Hi students, welcome back to the class. Today I am going to give you some new words, some important words related to Arach. Okay. So I am already explained in the chapter, and uh, between the chapter, new new words these also came. New new words. So we are not uh, giving more attention to that type of words. So now I will give you some important words and their definition. Okay, all of you listen carefully. Okay, the first one, allergy. So starting of this chapter, I am explaining to you what is allergy. Very simple, easy to understand that one. The allergy is a hypersensitivity or unusual reactivity of the body tissue of any foreign substance. Any for foreign substance. Simply I will tell you that one. So if any foreign substance. Maybe dust or any um, pollen grains, any other cosmetics. If anything is to come to in our body or contact with our body, the body start to respond. Body start start to respond. So that response is called hypersensitivity. Means our body becomes sensitive and that is ready to react to the type of foreign particles or foreign substance. So that reaction is called hypersensitivity. Okay, or unusual reaction. Unusual reaction in the uh, presence of foreign substance that is called it allergy. Okay, allergy means very simply uh, think that one. This allergy is a hypersensitivity of the body in the presence of foreign substance. Okay, and the allergy. The second word is allergy. The allergy means very simple. And is that substance that causes the allergy? Substance that causes the allergy is called an allergy. Okay, if any substance, some different type of substance, uh, cosmetics or any other dust or uh, pollen grain, any substance, which substance causes and then make the person allergy, that substance is called allergy. Okay, a substance that causes an allergic reaction is called an allergy. Okay, a substance that causes the allergic reaction is called allergy. Okay, this two word is clear. And third one, anaphylaxis. Anaphylaxis. Not done. And you listen carefully. Anaphylaxis. That means an increased sensitivity to an allergen causing dilation of blood vessels and tightening of the muscles. Of tightening of muscles, it may be lead to low blood pressure, difficulty in breathing, and may be fatal if left untreated. So this anaphylaxis means one type of body condition. That body condition means if any foreign particles centered in the body, as a result the body start to react. So due to this way, what happened that uh, dilation of our blood vessels. What is the word meaning dilation? So the blood vessels become expanded solely. Okay. So if increasing the size of the blood vessels, what happens? That muscles are also going to tighten. Muscles are also going to tighten. What is the, uh, what what happened during this uh, um, contraction or the tightening of the muscle? So as a result, the flow of the blood become low. Blood pressure going to low. If the blood pressure going to low, what happens? Uh, start to show some different type of uh, allergic reactions or body unusual conditions showing the body. Maybe uh, breathing problem, difficulty to breathe, difficulty to breathe. Okay, and it is increasing. That means day by day or uh, within week or, or, or months, what happened? That turned to one other problems or serious issues. Maybe that goes to severe. This is also so that this is a uh, reason the anaphylaxis is a dilation of the blood vessels and a uh, tightening of the muscles. So according to um, blood pressure going to low and breathing rate going to low and everything going to low and a variable the body shows the variable um, conditions. Oh, okay, that is a very uh, definitely difficult to our um, daily routine. So we are not able to breathe, what happens, we are difficult to breathe, we are not conducting any uh, respiration process and we are not getting energy. So each and every unusual condition in the body is directly related to 
own functioning of the body. Okay, that's third one, anaphylaxis. Third one, asthma. So I hope all of you know this is one of the familiar disease, asthma. It is also formed in the gel, the presence of allergen. It's a severe disease, severe um, term of the allergy, severe form. So asthma, how it's formed? Asthma, how is um, formed? Okay, I will tell you that one. Asthma, a lung condition. Lung condition. Okay. In which airways become narrowed, causing cough and shortness of the breath. Airways. Okay. So we are taking and uh, releasing the air very smoothly. There's no any other difficulty to breathe in and breathe out. So in particular, if in the um, our windpipe or alveoli, alveoli, okay, nose, nostrils and windpipe into the lens. Okay, so this alveoli is also this is a small space to uh, air get in and out. So that is narrow or na narrow cavity going to block and narrowing, narrowing means that uh, we are not, uh, that space going to block inside the area going to block. What happened as a result is that we are not able to breathe in and out. That condition is called uh, asthma. So that uh, passage going to shrink or narrow that definitely affect our lung condition and as a result we are causing uh, we are feeling, facing some different type of problems maybe even death also. So the asthma is a <coughs> lung condition that is um, narrowing the alveoli, narrowing in the alveoli. Okay. So as a result, the person turned to uh, shortness of breath, shortness of breath. And next one, contact dermatitis. Contact dermatitis. Okay. The inflammation of the skin caused by the exposure to an allergy. Allergy. So. This one type of that um, allergic condition, contact dermatitis. This so, word is given the answer. So some of the allergic allergen or allergic causing substance that direct contact with the, our skin. So what happened? The skin start to um, uh, overreact, means itching or some other pain like that type of reaction will be shown. Okay. So that type of uh, change is called a uh, contact dermatitis. Okay, it is only in the presence of allergy. Next one, allergic rhinitis. Allergic rhinitis. Okay, so it means the inflammation of the mucous membrane of the nose and the eyes response to allergy. Some of the allergens also will become in contact with the skin also. Some will be airborne also. During the breathing or during the inhalation, this um, allergens also enter the body. So maybe it is also through the nose, the mucous region inside and the lining of the eye also. What happened? So it is a foreign substance. If any foreign substance enters the body, the body starts to overreact. So that is a problem. So this uh, uh, allergic rhinitis means these foreign particles enter the body. Body means the mucous membrane that start to sneezing and some other irritations, maybe uh, some other redness and watering and this type of uh, causes or symptom will be shown. Okay. So, aller allergic rhinitis means the inflammation of the mucous membrane, inflammation and the difficulty of the mucous membrane of the nose and the eyes in the response to allergy. Next one, antibody. Antibody I have clearly explained to you before the class. So, once again, antibody. A specific protein produced by the immune system. A specific protein produced by a, by the immune system in response to a specific foreign protein or particle called an antigen. Very simple. If any foreign particles enter the body, the body try to fight. Okay. So the for fight. So how, which part of the body and which one is helpful to us? That immune system is ready to fight any kind of foreign particle. So the immune system having that one of that uh, cell lymphocyte, lymphocyte helps to us for the production of protein. So the protein 
fight with the re reactant that means uh, allergen into form a histamine substance histamine so this chemical substance formed in the body for fighting to the um antigen okay so if you are failed if you are we are failed to uh, maybe we are not resistive what happen this histamine chemicals histamines and other chemicals will come increase as a result our body showing some different type of uh, symptoms okay that's an anti body this a protein produced in the body to fight a allergen next one antigen antigen a foreign protein a foreign protein to which the body react by making antibodies this is one type of foreign protein to which the body react to making antibodies okay that's what i told you if any allergen is enter the body otherwise that uh, allergen having different type of dust mite the dust mite is also releasing that uh, fecal uh, things waste also that waste contain protein so that protein is not good for the health or not good for our body so that protein definitely cause allergic reactions okay so according to this we will have the body start to produce the antibody to fight the antigen okay the antigen means a foreign protein foreign protein to which the body react by making antibodies that's a anti antigen so these are the new words and the important words of the uh, lesson allergy so all of you learned this important words and their definition okay thank you